Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn all the chords and rhythms to Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. Uh, in a couple other videos, I'm going to take a look at both of the main solos. And um, I'm going to do a video showing you uh, kind of a transcription of the piano solo too. So it's going to be really cool and really challenging. So let's get the actual chords and all the little licks out of the way first. I'm not going to be doing all those little fills uh, that go on over it. I'm just going to concentrate on the... Um, actual rhythm guitar parts and then the the main solos. All right, so let's take a look here. We're going to start. We're in standard tuning, and we have uh, basically you're holding the this D chord, and you're going to pick the open D string twice, then the B string, G string, and the open D. Now you're going to lift your first finger, but leave your third finger where it's at. Put your second finger here, the third fret on the um, fifth string, and do the three zero three. It's kind of muted too, kind of palm muted. Then back up, picking uh, the second, third, and fourth strings. So we had this. All right, now move that second finger over to the low E string. So we have that three zero three again there. And then we just kind of strum those three strings instead of picking across them. So all together. All right, now we have this fill. Uh, this is just, this fill is only used in the intro. There's, it's a different way of playing it. The fill kind of changes depending on what part of the song it's at and or where we're going into. But this opening fill is. All right, so that's a hammer from zero to two on the A string. Then the open D. Then you pull off 2 to 0 on the D. Then over to 2 on the A. So we have this. Then jump over to the G string, play the second fret and pull off to the open string. So we have. Alright, so all together. Alright, now the exact same riff again. a different ending so that's a pull off from 2 to 0 on the G string and then pick the open G again and do the same thing at the fourth fret and then you hit the fifth fret and bend it up a whole step so then we go back to the same progression That same first fill again. Now the last time playing, the fourth time, the ending is just hammer zero to two, and then play the open D and the G. All right, so that's the whole intro. It's basically the same in, the same part done three times, just uh, done four times. The first and third ending are the same, and then you know you have to do the second and fourth are different. So. Um, from there we go to the verse when the vocals come in and it's a subdued version of it. You're not really picking across the strings real heavy. You just kind of remember going, holding the same chords, it's just kind of hitting the open strings twice and then kind of strumming the chorus. All right, you might want to pick across it. There's some layers in there if you want to pick across them sometimes. The ending, though, when you reach down to the low E string, third fret, you don't do any kind of picking at all. So we got... All right, so this first time through these chords in the verse, you end it with that same hammer 0-2 on the A, open D, open G, and then back 0-2 on the A. So we have this. All right, then you go through the chords again. And just basically extend that last chord, and that's it. 
So you go through that twice, that whole little part. All that one more time. All right, so from there we go to this little interlude section that sounds like this. All right, so it moves around quite a bit, but it's not very difficult. You're gonna hammer seven, eight, nine on the A string. Seventh fret twice on the G. Then pull off nine to seven. 9-7 on the A. Then back of the 5th fret, hammer 5-7 to seven on the A. And then 5th fret twice on the G. Pull back off that 7-5 to five on the A. Then you're going to hammer 0-2 to two on the A. Open D, open G. And then the third fret on the low E. And just repeat that. And then at the very end, the second time through it, you do a quick hammer from zero to two on the A, and then you open D, and then that takes you back to the verse. So now this last time through these, these chorus chords, you have a little fill that takes you into the chorus. Now this, this fill is a little bit different. This one's, every time you go into the chorus, you do this one, and it sounds like this. So that's hammer zero to two on the A string, then the open D, then the open G, pull off two to zero on the D, and then hammer zero to two on the A. Real slow. Real slow. One more time. All right, now let's go through the chorus. I'll just play through it real quick for you. So the chorus has uh, got kind of a, kind of Chuck Berry style rhythms with some cool little licks thrown in between. So we're just up here at the fifth fret, power chord, five, fifth fret on the uh, A string, seventh on the D. Hit that twice. Then that add the ninth there on the D instead of the seventh fret, and then replace it back to the seventh. So we have same thing at the third fret. And we basically have the same thing. You're going to shake it over to the sixth string now, the same two notes. A little bit different feel though. So we kind of kind of laid back a little bit. So we have. All right, and then we have this first fill. And that's hammer uh, zero two on the A. Open D, then pull off two to zero. And then grab the C power chord here. The third fret off the fifth string. So, it, so. back to the same chords again. Now instead of going down to the sixth fret uh, power chord of sixth string power chord, you're gonna do this for a whole measure. So that's hammering on uh, zero to two on the D and then hitting the open G string. So you can pick that, or you can hybrid pick it. Back to the same chords. Same ending as before. And this last ending is just uh, 
power chord off the F power chord off the third fret of the D string over to the third fret off the A string power chord, which is the C power chord. And that leads you into the first solo, which we can take a look at in a, in a different video. All right, so from there, we're just kind of doing the exact same thing. We have uh, another verse that we go, we go through the you know solo section. Uh, we go back into the verse, and that verse is just has this little, those same two chords we just did. In the middle of it, it's just this. All right, so I basically replace that. Okay, so it's just those same two chords. This is like in the third verse. That same flow that leads you back to the chorus, and then back to the chorus. All right, and the chorus is the same uh, the second time through. You just go through another guitar solo, and then at the end we're going to have a, a piano solo. So let's take a look at those in a different lesson. I'll see you then. Bye bye.